Hello everyone, welcome back to Workshop. Today we're going to talk about getting paid more. So, um, it's a very interesting topic, getting paid more for your work. And there's so much that really goes into it. You probably make, uh, you know, we could make a million videos on this topic alone. Uh, but we're going to try. We're going to try to make it a little, a, a little simpler. We're going to try to stay on topic today, okay. and just one simple, um, one simple way of getting paid more for your work. So, say you've got an online business, you've got an online business, or you've got a regular business that you go to craft fairs with, or this or that, or you've got a brick and mortar location, and people, your tourist attraction, people shows up. There's a lot of different businesses you could have. Maybe you're an industrial smith. Maybe mm -hmm. you're. Who knows what your business is? Actually, I would love to hear about that in the description down below. Like, yeah. like what, your what, what your specialty is that you make money at. That would be great. You know, mm -hmm. especially if you're if you're just starting out, that's okay. I want to hear what you make. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. Um, the easiest way to get paid more for what you do is to compare two items. Mm -hmm. Oh, would you like to like tell them a little bit about this, kind of like on our business here? Sure. Um, when we first started our Etsy store, since that's kind of the primary place that we sell, um, we offered a pretty big range of items, but we really started out with probably the majority of them were smaller items. Things like um, different types of hooks, uh, little horseshoe nail hooks and S hooks and um, some meat skewers. Fire um, pokers, yeah. kind of. Yeah, some Just things little... along those lines. Probably like probably $50 and under items uh, kind of thing for price range. Mm -hmm. And um, and we'd have a few things in there that were worth more than 50 or more than $100. And, um, and we would get real popular at one of our smaller items where we would just have um, orders flowing in on the smaller items and then we'd sell some of the larger items. But over time, like we started noticing that our orders were increasing on the larger items where we were getting paid more. Um, but we are still getting tons of orders on the smaller items. Mm -hmm. So it came down to there's only a certain amount of time in a day or in a week that we can work on projects. You know, how do we need to go about um, balancing this out because the larger orders are worth more. So we're, we yeah. started brainstorming on trying to how to solve the problem. Yeah. And what, one of those items was the horseshoe nail hooks. I was very... Um, you know, I was very heavily involved in those. Those were an amazing seller. Um, and, you know, if you haven't started making hooks for your business, if you're just starting out, you should just start. Start now. Um, we've got plenty of resources. Yeah. In, uh, we'll try to link those up yeah, in the yeah. description of this video. But, you know, just go to our channel and, and our playlist and look at everything we have on the subject of blacksmithing for business. You know, this is a continuization of this series, and we're just going to continue this series, mm -hmm. you know, as we go along. I don't care if YouTube's around for 30 years, 10 years, 5 years mm -hmm. uh, from now. We're going to just continue this. I know some people don't find value in that, and they're just about projects and things like that. That's okay. We've got plenty mm -hmm. of videos on the channel for that as well. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we like to be an encouragement to you guys. But we've got plenty of videos on on hooks. Just, I mean, right. just even hooks so and first, hook jigs. If you're starting in, don't hesitate yeah. to start with hooks. But exactly. as you go along, you do need to increase your skills and start offering additional items as well. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, I was doing very well with hooks, but then I started, so those were a 3 to $5 item for me, and I sold a lot of them. And then as time progressed, I was selling $25 items on the same level I was selling 3 to $5 items. Mm -hmm. And when you reach that point, it is no longer a logical conclusion to continue the three and five dollar item mm -hmm. if it's taking away from your opportunity to work on the twenty-five dollar item because the twenty-five dollar item takes more time. And so, you know, you can either cram forty things in mm -hmm. or you can do one thing. And so you have to make that choice. And it, it's a scary thing to step away it from. Is, it really yeah. is, yeah. Um, we really debated about it for probably a good solid three or four weeks before we actually took the listings down, you mm -hmm. know, because... 
And they were bringing traffic to our yeah. website, and they were bringing sales, and they were bringing reviews, and there was a lot of positives mm -hmm. that we were talking about walking away from mm -hmm. for pursuit of more money mm -hmm. um, for our work. And that's very scary. Yeah. It's a very scary thing. Yeah, it was. So. We were afraid, you know, that we may take down the hooks, and then what if our month, that next month, flopped completely, you know, and we had done something um, that hurt our business. Yeah. But... Once we did take that jump and we took the listings down, uh, we just saw continued growth. There, were, It was as if, um, you know, we weren't lacking any money. It was yep. almost as if there was no drop in our profit yeah, or, or income sales at all. So, from... But, man, did it take a huge load off of me in the shop. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we've done just recently over the past year is, like, last year time frame, is we stopped offering four-inch bowls on our website. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, those were very popular. I mean, mm -hmm. they were hugely popular. And, you know, they were like just, I don't know, they were like that perfect little niche yeah, item. Like, uh, ring dishes. Yeah, like for like, like ring dishes and, you know, whatever. You can set it on your thing and throw mm -hmm. some keys in it or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they were hugely popular, but it took me about twice as much time to make one of those as it did for me to make a six-inch bowl. Yeah. But a six-inch bowl, I was getting paid double mm -hmm. of what I was getting paid for the four-inch bowl. Right. And I had to wait. And so that's just same product line, mm -hmm. just different sizes. Right. Just I had to make that choice. Yeah. yeah, so I quit offering one size so this way I could pursue more mm -hmm. on the next size up. Because ultimately, that's what my family needed to take mm -hmm. and get by and to be able to afford, you know, uh, you know, groceries and, you know, just mm -hmm. simple stuff, doing life. So. Which, um, yeah, for the, I mean, for the size, like you said, the four inch, it was, it just turned out too, diff it was pretty difficult to work with such a small piece without like hitting your thumbs and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. So that was a big help, not having to continually bruise your yeah. thumbs for that. It hurt quite too. a bit, so, yeah. But, with, <laughs> like, so with that one, we did have a recovery period. We did see a drop in views um, pretty big, and it took a couple of, probably a couple of months to recover from that. But as Roy shared on our last video, the turning downward video, um, you know, now we're at a point where we have uh, increased, um, we've increased monetarily, but we have fewer orders because that was one of the products mm -hmm. we discontinued in that size. Yeah. And, and so that's a good way of, you know, end up, you know, still providing a good amount of quality to the customer and still providing them an excellent product, but getting paid more to do so. And, and you know, and that's. That's ultimately where you have to go with your business if you're going to continue to grow and progress. Uh, that's not always the case. Sometimes, sometimes getting paid more is being able to be more efficient at what you do, which means designing tooling or figuring out processes that make it quicker. So not necessarily discontinuing something, but if you know that it takes you two hours, if you can get that down to an hour, then you can do double the amount of product right. in the and same just, amount of time. Yep, keeping and, the price the same, but now you're getting yeah. for that same time block, you get That's another, to offer twice, you know, yeah, twice, twice the amount, the amount of, of product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and then your turnaround times can be shorter, which is more attractive to customers and things mm -hmm. of that nature. Yep. So those are just a few little thoughts on mm -hmm. how you can you know, improve, uh, you, you know, your, your pay mm -hmm. yep. and, and, and to get more. And, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, you know, that's going to be it for today. I think that, yeah. that I think that pretty well covers it and stays on top of it. Uh, you know, let us know in the, you know, comment section down below, like I said, w what it is that you sell, what, what it is that you do, you know, that way I would love to hear that, um, you know, and if you guys got any struggles or things mm -hmm. like that, put your questions down there, but, you know, we'd love to hear from you. And we, and we do try to get back with everybody. If we don't get back with you, it's probably because we're going to do a response video. So just, you know, hit that notifications bell so you know when those get released. But Exactly. Yep. So, anyways, that's it for today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll catch you on the next.